Welcome back students to one more session of your uh, biomolecules chapter. We have already studied about glucose, we have studied the structure of glucose, we have studied the preparation of glucose, then we went gradually into the topic called what is mutarotation. I also did chemical properties of glucose, correct? Yes, today we will be starting with the topic fructose, one more monosaccharide. Yes, let us start. So when I speak about fructose, so the formula for fructose is as we said it's biomolecule it's a combination of carbon hydrogen and oxygen correct okay? it's the same c6 h12o6 just like glucose the formula for fructose also is c6 h12o6 but the only difference is fructose is called as keto hexose okay here what do we have in aldo in uh, glucose we had uh, we called it as aldohexose because it has an aldehyde group here we call it as ketohexose because you have a ketonic group in the structure let us see the structure so uh, when i speak about fructose basically there are six carbon atoms hexose means six carbon atoms how is the structure looking yeah so basically just write one two three four five and six yeah done the first carbon and the last carbon is made or it contains ch2oh group yes now your second carbon has a ketonic group that is the reason we call it as keto keto hexose hexose means one two three four five six let us number this one two three four five and six ketohexose yes done now let us fill the hydrogens it's the same like glucose here you have a uh, ch2oh uh, in this particular uh, first one second one is c double, uh, c double bond o and third this is your fourth this is your fifth yes what do we learn in glucose yeah the third carbon had oh and h correct yes so here the third carbon has oh and h so fourth one as H and OH, fifth as H and OH. Now this is your open chain structure for fructose. So let us name this as open chain structure of fructose. Correct. So now after open chain, what do we write in glucose? We've written Fisher projection formula. Correct. The same fructose when I write the Fisher projection formula or nothing. Fisher projection is basically the open chain structure only. Yeah. So Fisher projection is basically the open, we are just writing the open chain structure except that in Fisher you just don't write the carbon chains, we draw the carbon skeleton, we just draw this carbon skeleton like this. Yeah, the last one is CH2OH and the first one is again CH2OH, correct? Yes, I took this, I took this, done. Now what am I doing? I am supposed to write this. So there is, now let me write, this is one. Now in the second thing, I have C double bond, correct? I am not writing carbon. Here in the third one, I have OH and H. In the fourth one, I have H and OH. In the fifth one, you have H and OH. This is your Fisher projection with the carbon skeleton. Let me number this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Done. That is your Fisher projection formula. Now, when I take or when I uh, write the cyclic structure of fructose, we have already written in glucose. Please go through that video. So, uh, basically, we know first we will write the open chain, then we will write the Fisher projection. After that, we will write the cyclic structure of fructose. Correct. So, how does this look? This particular chain, it exists in two forms. One is <coughs> cyclic structure that is alpha and one is your beta structure let me write the full name after that we let let us discuss what actually as i said is minus and plus okay so when i write the cyclic structure for alpha of this fructose as i said here what happens <coughs> one two three four five six seven eight it's the same right so this is going to shift to the first yeah now observe carefully how does this look when you're writing alpha just write the whole structure yes so this okay left first one yeah this carbon now what do you do you're going to shift this here how does this look this is going to get shifted this is shifting here so it's like this so i'm picking up this ch2oh okay yes now which is the first carbon this is the first carbon so this will be the first carbon now this is your second carbon which says c double bond o now, remaining all is same one two are done now third carbon you have oh h fourth carbon h oh fifth carbon h 
O, sixth carbon OH. Now I said cyclic structure. So what happens from the fifth carbon, one of the oxygen as we did in glucose, this oxygen is going to shift to this particular one. So how does this look? Oxygen is going to shift and what happens? This particular one double bond is going to shift and this becomes single bond CH2OH. We did this the same in glucose also. From the fifth carbon, yeah, one H goes and attacks the first carbon, yeah, with CH2OH on this side, OH on this side, and your oxygen is forming the cyclic structure or the green structure here. Now, let us like beta, what should we do? I have to hold this here and rotate the first carbon, that's it, simple. So, this particular thing, CH2OH was here, when you rotate it in this direction, CH2 comes on this side, OH comes on this side, remaining all is same. So, what did you do? You're holding it and rotating it is like this right so rotate it like this so how do you get the beta OH comes on this side yes CH2 OH on this side and the leftover now number it please be careful this is one this is two CH2 which is always one two and the third carbon OH and H in the fourth carbon H and OH in the fifth carbon already it says it is gone same H your ring so, how should I show this? I have to show this to this, correct? Because this H has gone to this carbon, yeah, O and now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, correct? Now, this is your alpha structure, this is your beta structure. Now, observe carefully. So, what did I say? <coughs> this particular glucose or fructose uh, has as asymmetric carbons, correct? This is asymmetric carbon. When something has asymmetric carbon, it is going to show us an activity called optical activity. I already said this in the earlier video. What is optical activity? When a plane, when you observe this, when you take this compound in a, on a polarimeter, I mean, it, uh, suppose this is a polarimeter, you're taking that compound in that, and you are allowing a plane a single frequency plane polarized light focused on that what does it do it's going to rotate that plane polarized right either to clockwise direction or it's going to rotate the plane polarized right anti-clockwise direction correct yes now suppose now this is my clockwise and this is my anti-clockwise if the compound is rotating the plane polarized right in the clockwise direction then we call as we have seen in glucose then we call suppose just see this is your right this is your now your, this is your number right, clock 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now if it is rotating, this, this is a clock right, Let us we have drawn a clock. Now if the compound is rotating, correct, if it is rotating in the clockwise direction, yeah, as in glucose, we, we write it as alpha dash <coughs> D dash plus and we wrote root as glucopyranose correct yes now here what happens is your fructose is going to rotate the plane polarized right towards left means the stable product is towards the left so what is happening now here as i said this fructose is rotating the plane polarized right in this direction left so what do we write when you are writing the structures alpha dash d dash minus right fructo furanose so what is furanose it is a five membered ring which we will be drawing in a while here also beta dash d dash fructo furanose furanose so once again try to understand first we have taken the formula for fructose <coughs> here we have written the open chain structure for fructose with ketone group in the second carbon then i have shown you a Fischer projection structure that is an open chain structure. It's the same with the carbon skeleton. In that, what happened after uh, this drawing of open chain structure, this particular thing, as we said, is going to exist in the form of cyclic structure in nature. From the fifth carbon, <coughs> this particular lone pair of electron, yeah, this, as I said, this is going to shift in this direction as I showed in glucose and the H. Now, this becomes minus, correct? And this proton goes and attacks that carbon. Just see this there was double bond oxygen here and this has shifted like this so immediately this proton from here a ship from the fifth carbon has shifted to this now you're going to show first is always first carbon second third fourth five and six this is your sixth carbon now 
this is your alpha when your CH2OH the fifth one is on my left hand side alpha now you're going to hold this and shift this on the other side that's going to come to the other side so that means this group has rotated towards my right yeah then we call this as one two three and right and after this I said when you're naming the compound as I said this all these are asymmetric carbons so if it is rotating the plane polarized right towards this direction we are going to mention plus as in glucose if it is rotating the plane polarized right in the left direction i am going to write alpha d yes minus in the bracket remember minus rotation means it's levo both alpha and beta you should write both minus for glucose you write both plus so this is your structure of fructose please note it